Okay, W6WUH, uh, taking a look at the HG10 here. We've uh, pulled all the components out of the oscillator uh, section and uh, we're cleaning up every uh, tube pin, every uh, pin on the, um, excuse me, <coughs> pin on this uh, terminal strip. Uh, take a look at this pile over here. Here's my hand for reference. That crud right there, all of that stuff came off of two of the tube pins in the oscillator. All of that stuff from just from two tube pins. Here's another pile of stuff. Uh, I only saved about half of it. But you can figure that for every little terminal on that ter seven pin terminal strip there was at least this big a blob of solder plus bits of wire from old components and and other junk uh, over here there's a uh, where is it here's a tube socket there were two capacitors uh, tied to this ground lug here and there was so much uh, crud on there that this that those two capacitors on that ground lug were actually get my pointer in here sorry were actually shorted against this terminal which I think had heater voltage on it so that's a pretty big distance that stuff was all globbed in there and pushed together and shorted together so you know I kept saying well maybe I can clean up this connection and maybe I can clean up the other connection but fundamentally it was so bad uh, the lead dress was so bad, there was so much uh, globs and junk and, and crap and corruption that I finally said, okay, I'm going to take out every single component in that oscillator uh, section and rewire it. Uh, too many pieces of, uh, of wire with burned insulation, too many leads going the wrong way, too many things led the wrong way. So uh, this is the first experience I've had with Heath kits in all these years where I'm actually rebuilding the kit. You know, I've done repairs on things, uh, whether they were done wrong or uh, age has uh, done something to the radio. But, uh, or I'd taken out a mod that didn't belong there, but this was, uh, this was uh, beyond the pale.